Yo, mic check. One, two, one, two. We in the lab. Yeah, let's get it. 2018, changing smells to caterpillars. Me, yeah, at all. First author, chemical ecology. Changing smells to caterpillars, ABGs. The Asian Baby Girls, Biology 542, yo. SDSU, Woman in Science. Ecologic, Ecological Signal. Scientists studying herbivore plant-induced volatiles or HIPV. Indoles for mice plants, how do they really affect spot up teralitoralis? The brown caterpillars have endoparasites named microfluidic bruventris, that's the type of wasp. And the research paper hypothesizes that the indoparasites is parasitoid attraction. So they ran three main experiments. To test attraction, yo. To test herbivore and parasitoid survival. To test choice assays, yo. Then ran volatile and staff analysis, changing scents of caterpillars. So they grew the plants and hatched caterpillar eggs, changing scents, changing scents of caterpillars. Starting with caterpillars, parasitized by female wasps. Each test has multiple parts. So let's start with parasite attraction experiments using a four-armed olfactometer. Wasp chosen on the walk, arms had angels, or no antel dispenser as a type of control. Caterpillars exposed to angels or not to test the type of wasp attraction. Caterpillars fed on indole and juice. Plants are non indole inducing plants. Scratch leaves and applied with caterpillar puke to test wasp attraction. They found that indole exposure decreases parasitism because indole deteriorates. Parasitism by chemical defense decreases parasitism. Caterpillars tested for survival. Parasitized caterpillars and non parasitized caterpillars that control, exposed to indole or control. Put the caterpillars on plants to test indoles or non indole plants. Yo, then count a parasite growth and caterpillar growth to measure. Measure growth. Jordan kicked that shit. They counted the number of dead caterpillars in parasite cocoons, found that pillars exposed to parasites decreased survival rates, indole exposure increased. Survivorship. Parasitoid preference was pro-control. Didn't mess with the caddies that ate indole plants. No, yeah, parasites didn't like. No indole, no. Ooh. Chemicals. Parasites didn't like. Parasites didn't like. The indole pillars. Just the control. Hey. Ooh. Hey. Hey. Caterpillars had a choice. Between four dispensers, two were empty controls, one had some indole in it, and one had hexanol. Caterpillars chose and moved over to their preference. Yo, caterpillars were made to be scared or naive. Scared were exposed, exposed to female parasites, but they didn't touch them. Scared were exposed, exposed. Naive caterpillars were not exposed to females. Scared were exposed, exposed. Dispenser test repeated caterpillars had a choice between the four, between the four. Yo, these choice tests were showing that the indole repulsed by native caterpillars. Parasitoid exposed caterpillars were not. This shows HIPV's role. Role. In affecting three trophic interactions. This shows HIPV's role. Researchers hypothesize indole alters the repellent effect. The repellent effect. So we're taking right back to the start of the paper, all right? Is it HIPVs? We don't know. Any of these chems influence attractiveness of herbivores. It's unclear it's HIPVs. Spodoteroliteritis is the herbivore we watch in. Seeing if it's larva, A. Silk is chosen as a host in the presence and absence of indole. It's a vital release post attack from herbivores. Hey, 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 ABGs ain't too proud to beg. Jess, Mel, and Jordy out. Peace.